Enable Document Number Control. To reach this option, go to Organization on the top toolbar and then Organization Preferences. Enable Document ID Control will be in the Processing tab. Select this checkbox to allow multiple users in different sessions to auto-increment document IDs. This allows users to auto-increment numbers consistently between sessions simply by pressing the plus key on the keyboard. Processing Mode to Batch To reach this option, go to Organization on the top toolbar and then Organization Preferences. Select a Processing Mode. This will determine the posting status options available for any new transaction entry sessions in the accounting module. The online posting option allows you to immediately post to the general ledger from within the session. This means that the only review of the data is to view the information you have just entered on the screen. There is no undo function or further review of the data if it is later determined that the entry is not correct. However, if you select the batch processing option, the information will be saved as an unposted session. It will prevent anyone from directly posting any session during the entry process. Unposted transaction reports can be run to further review the data. Even selected financial reports can be run that include unposted transactions. We strongly recommend that you select the batch processing option. This will allow a review of the work prior to posting. Set up advanced audit trails. To reach this option, go to Security on the top toolbar. Then select Manage Audit Trails and set up Advanced Audit Trails. Use this form to select the record types you want the system to audit. Select the Enable Audit checkbox next to the record type. Save the form and the system will begin collecting the detailed information. This will show information that was added, what was changed, who made the change, and when the change was made. Unselecting the Enable Audit checkbox will cause the system to stop collecting the information. We recommend using the Advanced Organization Audit with the full version of Microsoft SQL Server installed on your server machine. We also recommend that you clear the Enable Audit checkbox next to the record type during the initial setup of the system and when importing new records to clear database space. Data Integrity Checks To reach this option, on the top toolbar, click Organization, then Data Integrity Checks. Use this form to check the integrity of your data files. This form also allows you to conduct a complete check of data and identify any errors in the system's tables. Data integrity checks can take just a few minutes or an extended period of time. Therefore, it is recommended that the first time you run integrity checks, you do so when you can be out of the software for a period of time. You may need to benchmark the amount of time the integrity checks take to process. The amount of time needed for checks to complete will vary based on your hardware configuration and the size of the database you're checking. How to manually create backup and restore. To manually backup and restore your database, click File on the top toolbar and choose either Backup or Restore. These functions are controlled by the users of the system and usually do not require your IT department to manage this process. Backups are put in the server of the Abila MIP Fund Accounting Server. You can restore both the system or organization databases that were previously backed up. To restore, everyone must be out of the system. Each backup is time and date stamped and creates a full backup each time it's performed. Manual backups can be run at any time by users with the proper security rights. True North Training. Never feel lost again.